Are you looking for the best dash cam in 2019? Well look no further because in this video I will review the best dash cam based on price, design, features and performance so if you want to know what dash cam is the best on the market today stay tuned. Subscribe to this channel for more in-depth reviews, if you enjoy this video then make sure to press the like button. Links to all the dash cams mentioned in this video are in the description below. Dashboard cameras, or dash cams, come in all shapes and sizes, with feature sets and prices to match so finding the best dash cam can be tricky. Some shoot in Ultra HD and offer driver assistance technology, while others try and win best dash cam points for being compact, cheap and simple to use. These are cameras recording a front-facing view of the road ahead as you drive, if you should be unfortunate enough to have an accident, or witness one, the camera can save its footage to an SD card, ready to be used as evidence. Some models can be hooked quickly, rear-facing camera and other systems record time-lapse footage for a couple of days after you last parked, thanks to feeding off the car's battery. The dash cam has become a must-have accessory for commuters, road trippers, and ride-hailing drivers. Footage from a dash cam provides irrefutable proof of fault in the event of an accident. Some more expensive dash cams offer a dual camera setup. These dash cams can be a little bulkier than single camera models but will allow you to record both the front and rear view at the same time, meaning you'll be better covered in the event of an accident. For a better view of what's happening in front of and behind you. Number 1 on this top 5 list and the best mini dash cam is the Garmin Dash Cam 65. Garmin's Dash Cam 65 has all the latest features, such as voice command, red light camera warnings, bad driver alerts, GPS, and Wi-Fi connectivity. It also packages them in a nice compact design that sports a very clever magnetic mount. The Garmin 65 is basically the same camera as Garmin Dash Cam 55 except that it has a wider angle 180 degree lens. It's also limited to 1080p rather than 1440p video. The back of the camera has a nice 2 inch display, while you control the Dash Cam and browse menus with four buttons on the right side of the Dash Cam. The camera supports Wi-Fi, and free apps are available for Android and iOS phones. You can download pictures and video clips to your phone. The pros of this dash cam is it has a 2 inches screen. It has GPS, it has built-in Wi-Fi, it has a 2.1 MP camera, it has voice commands, English, French, Italian, German. The cons of this dash cam is it's a little bit pricey. Number 2 on this top 5 list is the Rexing V1. The Rexing V1 has full high definition video recording capability and 170 degrees of camera angle coverage. It is easy to install and set up and works flawlessly in both daytime and nighttime shooting. The Rexing V1 comes powered with an AR0330 170 degrees 6 layers glass lens which allows the car camera recorder to have a wide angle of view. Note that the Rexing V1 comes with ports for an optional rear camera and for an external GPS unit. The Rexing V1 comes with WDR which means the video clips it records are going to have an excellent dynamic range even in low light allowing you to identify a suspect vehicle. This dash cam has a single micro SD slot. The V1's 170 degree 1080p video quality is a mixed bag. It is sharp and extremely stable. The pros are good video quality. It has a built-in Wi-Fi. The cons are the interface could be better. Number 3 on this top 5 list is the Vantru N2, which is the best dual dash cam. 
with the Vantru N2 1080p dual, the two-camera system gives you visibility of both the cabin of your vehicle as well as the road ahead. The device offers HD video quality and a speed of 30 frames per second for both its front and back cameras. The front camera has an OV4689 sensor and can record at 2560x1440p at 30fps or 1920 x 1080p at 60fps when used alone. The interior camera has a Sony Exmor IMX323 sensor and simultaneously captures the road and the inside cabin in 1920x 1080p at 30fps. Both cameras have a wide-angle lens but the inside cabin has a 140 degrees angle while the front camera has a 170 degrees angle. The Vantru N2 has a useful night vision capability. There is no built-in GPS module. However, it supports GPS functionality. The Pros are dual camera system offers both front-facing and back-facing views. HD video recording 1080p in the front and 720p in the rear. Infrared night vision. G sensor for crash protection. The cons are motion detection is only available for the front camera when in parking mode. Higher price point than single lens dash cams. Number 4 on this top 5 list is the Papago Car Dash Camera Gosse 535. Super HD Dash Camera records video with 160 degree wide angle. This dash cam has three recording modes to choose from, automatic recording, loop recording, monitor mode, one picture per second to save storage space, and motion detection, motion activated recording. Gosse 535 sustains the highest quality videos day and night, and during inclement weather. It supports up to 64 GB micro SD cards. With Cam on app, you'll be able to replay and share your videos instantly. The pros are decent features for the price. Number 5 on this top 5 list is the Pruveo MX2, best front and rear dash cam. This dash cam has a 320 degree rotating 120 degree viewing angle high resolution wide angle lens. 720p and 480p resolution at 30fps with AVI format. Dash cam works automatically. It starts recording when the engine is turned on and stops when it is turned off. Loop interval recording to micro SD card. The seamless recording means no gaps between recorded files. The Pros are dual lens dash cam enables it to record inside the car as well as outside. It is easy to install. The cons are you will need to use a memory card because the internal storage is not very big. The nighttime recording could be better. Thanks for watching be sure to check out the description below for more information about every product mentioned in this video, if you enjoyed this video then press the thumbs up button and subscribe to this channel.